that I, you know, I don't speak for the U.S. government, but the people that watch these things carefully understand that Secretary Yellen's visit was a continuation of the efforts that Secretary Blinken made with his visit last month. And the through line for both of those visits is that we want to open channels of communication. Both sides are looking for ways to communicate with one another. Yeah, I mean, we saw Biden not so long ago. It was, I think, last year. Blinken that we have seen as well in communications. And now, uh, Janet Yellen, how close are we getting to perhaps some sort of solution here where each, 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 each group sort of needs or desires and, 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 and priorities are laid out and they just know exactly where they're going and that this isn't a, a furious fight between the two. That's, it's an interesting idea that we'd come to that resolution. I don't think we're going to get there. I don't think the two sides are going to work perfect harmony. They're going to compete. They're going to take swipes yeah. at one another. Uh, and in that competition, there may be friction. But if you have channels of communication, official diplomatic channels or back channels that are unofficial, mm -hmm. you have the ability to... Uh, take a temperature and pressure release out of any situation. So a misunderstanding won't spiral into something more, a crisis or an open confrontation. Mm. Uh, does this sort of help the U.S. also understand the, the effects of post-pandemic uh, economic stances in China as well? Because that hasn't been to perhaps what many have expected. Do you think this gives a clearer picture? It, it might. I think that they're, in the diplomatic discussions, they'll often use language that's uh, a bit coded. But I think that, that the world generally recognizes uh, that China is coming off the back foot, coming out of COVID. And you just mentioned some numbers that looked a little bit lower than was, were expected. I think that, for China, means that they're facing economic headwinds, as is the U.S., and that the capacity for both sides to succeed against those headwinds yeah. is a collaboration or an understanding, at least at some level, even if it's a very basic level. Yeah. Do you, do you think any of them kind of look at this now and say, or especially on the Chinese side perhaps, look at this and go, well, we're maybe a little bit more vulnerable at this stage just because of our economic stance post-COVID-19, and we do need to lean a little bit on our U.S. counterparts or even just global counterparts per se before we continue to make a march on as we had done before? Or is this just a case of them saying, well, We've always said we don't want these ties to be severed. We actually want healthy competition. And both parties just need to be more understanding of that. I think that that's uh, it's somewhere between the two. I think that, that both sides have somewhat divergent goals. But you hear the commentary coming out of that discussion from Secretary Yellen saying the world is big enough for both of us to succeed. Yeah. And, and you won't hear China saying, oh, yeah, sure, we'll just go along to get along. They'll certainly make their representations about what they want to do. The U.S. does the same. They'll continue to spar. But they'll, I think the subtext in all of this is that each side is looking for a way to at least get a baseline of cooperation, collaboration that will help both economies. Yeah. Secretary Yellen speaking as well there that decoupling would be dangerous. But the words de-risking didn't necessarily come out of uh, that conversation either. Do you think they're just trying to find a fine balance into the middle? Because it is, as she said, about finding those different options, right? Diversifying. That's right. Yes, exactly. And so for the U.S. side, on which I am more expert, <laughs> um, the, the balance is in the regulations, right? They want to control things that, will ri that put nas U.S. national security at risk, but they want to build high walls around a small garden is the yeah. phrase that they often yeah. use. And, and they want to make sure that U.S. keeps what gives it a technological advantage, but allows the movement of the goods and technology that create a more vibrant economy in both countries because of the exchange. Yeah, you